Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's get cozy, a journey to me. This is going to be like a part two video um, that I just recently posted called, Are You Dating the Man That You Are Praying to God For? But the name of this video is going to be called, Don't Settle. I'm in my 30s and I am coming out of a bad relationship. Um, I've been single now for over 19, um, over 19 months. And I've had the pleasure of talking to different people, family and friends, about the things that, you know, uh, about the things that I really want in my next relationship. Usually when I tell people that I am celibate until marriage, you should see their faces and they're like, whew, girl, nobody is going to wait um, during these times. And I, I'm not going to lie, sometimes it gets a little bit discouraging because you don't want to hear things like that. But when you are given an order from God, you have no, um, you have nothing but to, you know, remain faithful and just know that God is going to come through for you. So this video is for both the men and women. If you have things set in your heart, you have your standards, you have your morals, you have your values, you have your wants, your needs, your dislikes, your likes, whatever you have on your list, if you have a list or in, in your mind, whatever things you have, I just want to let you know that you do not have to settle for less than what you want. If you know what you want, go after the things that you want. Don't allow family, friends, or strangers to tell you what you need to take off your list. That is your list. Those are the things that you want. So whatever it is that you want, don't let anybody try to tell you that you're not going to get it. You do not have to settle for less than you deserve. With me, I used to be, and you probably have heard me say this before, with me, I used to be so afraid to tell people that I was celibate until marriage for the simple fact that they live just like that. And I really never got a chance to even know me, but I had to look at it. At, I had to look at it from a different per, uh, perspective. And so, usually, when anybody come into my life, I would tell them right off the bat, "Hey, I'm celibate until marriage. I'm just letting you know." And if they left, I would be like, "They just weren't for me." And so for me, it has been it, it, it has been a very good thing because I'm able to weed them out quickly. I've had some people to be like, oh, that's cool. And then like a week or two down the line, all they want to talk about is sex. And I have to remind them, hey, I'm still a bit into marriage. And they would be like, oh, you 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 were for real. You weren't playing. Uh no, <laughs> I was not. And, you know, they'll go ahead and leave. But um, I just want to let you know that it is okay to have standards. It is okay to have high standards for yourself. And don't ever allow anybody to tell you what you will or will not receive. Just because you are choosing to have different standards from other people. Go after the things that you want. You will receive those things that you want. So, that's it. Like I said, this was going to be a very short and sweet video. Don't settle. Don't settle, sis. Don't settle, bro. Know what you want. And only accept what it is that you want and need. You don't have to lower your standards for anybody to get on your level. They need to up theirs to get on your level. Okay. All right. Y'all be blessed. Bye.